Hello students, today we are going to understand reproduction and development in Asterius, commonly called as starfish. As we know, starfish is an echinoderm, which is an exclusively marine form of organism. So, the process of development exclusively takes place in the water or aquatic medium. When we look at the adult organisms of Asterius, there exists the condition called sex separation. Mean to say, male and female are different from each other. The gonads, what they have, is also different. This condition where sex separation is called as dioecious, also called gonochoristic condition. <coughs> Even though there is sex separation, both males and females doesn't have the difference of uh, characters externally. They look similar otherwise. Only at the time of breeding, the adult organism shows changes with reference to the color. The male organisms and female organisms of Asterius they have the reproductive system which is said to be very primitive which means to say they will have only the reproductive gonads they don't have accessory organs or copulatory organs or even organs for storing either the sperms or ova because of the absence of all this uh, uh, accessory parts we call the reproductive system of Asterius as very primitive. Since they have only gonads, males will have the reproductive gonads called as testis lobes. Females will have reproductive gonads called as ovaries. Both testis and ovaries morphologically appear same. Each of this gonad appears to be the bunch of the grapes. So, like that, you have a paid gonads, paid bunches of uh, gonads of uh, 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 structures they have. Both the bunches of gonads are joined by means of a common duct, which we call it as gonoduct, and it opens outside by means of the opening called as gonopore. So the structure of the paid gonads, gonoduct, gonopore, together corresponds to one gonad uh, pair. Like this, you have five pairs of gonads, both the males as well as females. Their location when we concentrate upon one of the gonads of the pair is extended into the arm of one of uh, one of the arm structure, the other gonad will be extended into the neighboring arm. So this is how the arrangement of gonadal structure, thereby the opening of gonopore, both in male as well as female, is seen between two arms, at the angle of two arms, towards the aboral axis. So when you find the opening of gonopore, it is towards the uh, aboral axis between two arms. Between two arms is that opening of gonopore. Like that you have between all the arms, five pairs of gonads are present, five uh, structures of gonadal depths are seen and five openings of gonopore as uh, pores are seen in each of the sex of the organism. This is with reference to the reproductive structures of gonads that are related to Asterius.